Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. I've almost completed my Mini PA70 and I'm going to talk about it and, and my findings. First of all, it does work extremely well. However, there's a few limitations on it. If you're going to build it and put a low pass filter, it's going to be very difficult uh, to have switching between the bands and I use 40 meter and the 20 meter band so what I did I built a low pass filter for the 40 meter band which means the low pass filter will uh, filter out the second harmonic third harmonic or reduce it uh, but rather than have it switched to the 40 meter band with another low pass filter I decided to stick with the 20 meter low pass filter as it allows the 40 meter band to work through the filter as well as the lower frequencies however it will only um, work for suppressing the third harmonic if that makes sense because the second harmonic of seven megs is 14 etc which will pass 14 and then the third will be etc etc um, now to achieve full 70 watts I found it needs 13.8 volt power supply exactly if you run it on 12 volt like from a car battery um, you're going to get about 50 watts which isn't too bad if you run it about 15 volts you can get a, about 100 watts out of it um, with 5 watt drive now it's not too difficult to assemble the fiddly bit is actually finding a heat sink that fits and finding information on how to build low pass filter and things like that um, what else can I say about it the circuit diagram that you'll find with um, quite difficulty on the internet um, doesn't show all the components and when you built it and try and run it you'll get the, the output but on other occasions and certain frequencies you'll find you get a high SWR on the transceiver to the amplifier and this is due to a resistor that you need to insert depending on the bands you're working on and the resistor is called R6 there's very very little information on the internet regarding this resistor and um, it takes some digging to find out what value to use and it's a bit experimental um, it's not drawn on the circuit diagram you find it's missing now I think it's missing deliberately you know they want people to buy built linear amplifiers not build one yourself and I think the Chinese are deliberately omitting it from the circuit diagram and it's very difficult to see where you actually solder it or where it's supposed to be soldered on the board well this is my mini PA working and uh, I'm getting 66 watts out okay I've got my Zygu G90 set up uh, it's giving 5 watts out on 7137 MHz on the 40 meter band I've got my power meter set to 200 watts and if I key up 90 watts it's giving 90 watts now if I set this to 4 watts
it's actually just under 100 watts. Right, now then, we'll go to the um, 20 meter band. 14, two, 250, 260, right, okay. Narrow FM, we'll set it to 2 watts. And we'll see what we get now. Just under 50 watts. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to SWR it in the auto tuner. Okay, key up, just under 50 watts. Right, let's go and give it 5 watts in. Right, let's go up to 10 watts if we can. Oops. 10 watts in. Give it a key up. Yeah, don't make a lot of difference. So there we have it. And uh, yeah, 13.8. You can get 100 watts on the on the 40 meter band. And, uh, but you do need to use the tuner because the SWR is quite high for some reason and uh, yeah it's a bit strange really let's go down on power go down one watt yes, one watt now on the Zygu and we're getting about 40 watts out I think yeah 1.4 watts coming in and you're getting 30 watts maybe I don't want to run it too long dummy loads getting a bit warm because it's only a 20 watt one 